right, so we got another really decent snowstorm here in Connecticut. So it's a perfect day to take apart a perfectly working computer and prepare it for some water cooling. I've been meaning to make custom screws for my computer case when I rebuild it for all the water, co water cooling. And I had an idea of using some nickel plated uh, bullet casing. Um, I had some, so I figured I'd give it a shot. So these are the ones I had laying around. These are 40 Smith & Wesson. It's a good size for what I'm trying to do, so it'll work out just fine. So we got this impact puller, just get the bullet in there to catch the jaws right there crank this down and then beat the snot out of it here we go We got our casing. Can I do this one? Which we're then going to turn into a little thumb screw. That's what it looked like if you didn't know. A little hollow point. Here we go. Eight empty casings ready to be turned into thumb screws for my computer. Makes it a whole lot easier when you have the right tools for the job. And now, with the help of some 3D printed goodness, Fresh out of the printer. Full disclosure, this is the second iteration. The first ones I didn't put a taper, and the casings have a taper inside, so they didn't fit. Nice. Oh, yeah. Would you just look at it? They're beautiful. And they're gonna go right there. Stack of eight. It's gonna be awesome. And then I gotta make different ones for the motherboard screws. But I wanna go maybe a little bit narrower, but maybe a little taller. So probably some rifle rounds if I can find any. It's been impossible to find ammunition lately. I finally found nickel plated rifle rounds. So now I can turn these bad boys into screws just like the 40 caliber ones I had before.
What's up, everybody? We're gonna start doing the water cooling on the computer finally because I just got my video card after waiting like a month. And to get it all done, I have my friend Melody here who's got much smaller hands than mine so she can get into the little spots of the computer because as you can see, this big case got a lot smaller with the two radiators and the water block in the front. Plus the video card's gonna be vertical and it just, yeah. So it's gonna be fun. This is the first time doing this for both of us so we're just gonna wing it and see what happens. All right, first one we're gonna do is the one in the back because this has to go in first before our video card and everything else because we won't be able to get to it afterwards. So I gotta go from a 90 to a 45. First bend ever, not perfect because I can see a little like bump. Maybe I didn't heat too far, but it's not bad. I didn't burn it, it's always good. hard bend so this would probably be perfect for up top so you can so you're sure you're cutting whatever you want me to cut straight or mm -hmm. an angle straight okay Seventh time to charm. You got this. Okay, now how's your finger tape measure? It's good. It's good. I mean, it, it, it's good enough. You mean it's perfect? It's perfect! That's what I want to hear. It's straight! Okay, let me rinse this out. <laughs> So why do you buy better quality fittings? <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that one will fit somewhere. Somewhere. Do you need my helmet? <laughs> do you need my hands now? Um, yeah, you're going to have to tighten this fitting up here somehow. Can I do this one here first? Well, I don't have mine yet. Okay, now it's in. I can do the yeah. other one. Just... Best of luck with that fit. Oh, this? mother, are you serious? What is this? I didn't do anything. That I did. All I did was bend it. Yo, who designed this shit, man? My tiny ass fingers can't even go in. Hold on, I got this. I told you, this case was not designed for all these parts. I'm just parking after that for the case. I'm gonna pretend I'm in talent job. I don't wanna do it by feel. Like it's a fucking save. Hug it real quick, like it's my child. I don't know why I hired you if your hands can't get in there tight enough. Don't hire me. The thread is just not going in because. Wait, you're not gonna take this? 
the struggle is real right now. Can you look? Is it working? It is. Just turn it silent. Hey, well, it's it, gonna come out. if it's not tight enough, it's only on the top of the motherboard. So if that one leaks, it'll ruin everything. So no pressure. This dang thing is all the way in there and there's no space to get around it. I'm... I hope you don't have to repair it. Oh, look, it's still turning. You're fired. Okay, you know what? I'm not as strong as you. How many more to go? Seven? One down. Uh, yeah, seven more to go. Mm. But at least we have this one already cut the shape. I gotta just cut the, uh, the height. Yeah, don't do it seven times. Fifteen for six this time. Anything's progress. It's gonna be another fun one to play. Just throw those threads. Oh, and right there it gets stuck against the fan. Remember, we, we have to, uh, screw the fan in. fittings came in so now we can finish hopefully So I held pressure overnight perfectly. Here, check out. Mm. If, if you can see that. Perfect. Held 30 uh, KPA the whole night, which is about four and a half, five PSI. So now we're gonna try to fill it. We'll test it with distilled water first before we put the good coolant in. All right, we got the um, jumper on the 24 pin to turn the power supply on without any power to anything else. I actually disconnected all the other wires just as a precaution in case there's any residual power running through them. So now if we flip the switch on, the only thing should turn on is the pump. It's the only thing that's plugged in. So let's see what happens. We got some distilled water running through it. No leaks. I'm going to drain it and probably top it off with the good stuff because I'm confident it's not going to leak. So let's uh, get this cleaned out 
and then we'll be back to fill it. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I showed it before, but the drain down there. There's a little ball valve inside. It's kind of hard to get to, but it's also hidden, which is nice. So I'm going to get a flexible PVC tube to put on the barb and dump it into a bucket and drain it out real quick. I got it drained down. Ready for the good stuff. Dun -dun. But wait. There we go. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's what's going to be in there. Thank you. 